Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Love messages from your person. What is going on with them? We're going to find out calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number eight. Power of number seven. Power of number five. Okay. All right. Adding up the numbers. Looks like we're going to the number 20. 20 in tarot is the judgment card. There's a judgment call. Either there's a judgment call on this person, or sometimes the judgment call can talk about them wanting to come back and revitalize the connection with you. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, also picking up on Aquarius and Pisces energy born in the month of February. Some of you could have been born in 1950, 1952, 1957, or 1958 for my more mature audience. You could have also been born in 1970, 1972, 1975, or 1978. You could have also been born in 1980, 1981, 1985, or possibly 1987. Some of you could also be 20, 25, 27, or 28 years of age. You could also be 50, 52, 57, or possibly 58 years old, again, for my more mature audience. But either way, I'm going to the power of number 20 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does, what does Scorpio's person want to say to them? What's going on? Mm. They want you to forgive them. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Mm -hmm. So deep down inside, they're wanting your forgiveness, even if they are with a third party situation. Bottom of the deck, true love card. Yes, this is a romance of a lifetime. You know, I'm feeling the five of cups in my head right now. It's like, I think this person recognizes how they handled the connection with you. They know exactly what they did. There's a sense of reflection that I'm picking up here. And you know, this forgiving and learning card could also match up with that judgment energy I'm picking up through the number 20. Mm. I'm hearing the phrase weak for you even if they're with a third party. The third party was an easy way out for them. That they didn't have to deal with their vulnerability. They didn't have to deal with the intensity of the connection. Which tells me that this person 
that they didn't feel that they were worthy enough of you. Even if they told you that they loved you, they were second guessing themselves. And in turn, you know, as Neville Goddard says, everyone is you pushed out. Well, I don't always believe in that statement wholeheartedly, but in this scenario where them being in denial or them not feeling secure within themselves, their insecurity was making you feel insecure and the confusion. Some of you have been waiting a very long time for this person to reach out. What is your energy saying, Scorpio? How are you looking at yourself and viewing the relationship? Are you thinking more on the negative? Why they didn't choose you? That's a frequency that you're sending out to them. So if you want to help the situation along, you can get back into your power, working in on your self-concept, guided meditations for self-concept, that you are always chosen. If you're not in that state of mind, then the other frequency, so your person's going to pick up on what you're thinking, even if they're not in your hub or technically with you right now. If you guys were physically intimate between the two of you, you guys created an energetic, etheric cord binding energy through that sexuality on a spiritual level. You are still binded to that person on a spiritual level. So they're totally going to pick up on that frequency. And even if you weren't physically intimate, what they're showing me in my mind's eye is the vocal, the things that were said, this power of your spoken word. Something got spoken out into existence. It was like a chain reaction. I don't care for the fact that this person really did confuse you, especially towards the end of the relationship. So forgiving and learning, forgiveness is hard. Because when somebody does obviously something wrong, okay, then what happens? Trust issues, right? So this person definitely wants your forgiveness, but why? Why after all of this time when they're the ones obviously that have to build a new bridge, right? Trusted ancestors, why does Scorpio's person want forgiveness here? Because they just want a brand new start. Ace of Wands, they're still attracted to you, but this is also a sexual energy. They're missing your physical presence. Some of you guys are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Because you're top-notch, Scorpio, Empress, yeah, you are the be-all, end-all. That's what they couldn't handle, that, that energy frequency. So the confidence that you were exuding, that is what pulled them towards you in the first place. But it was too intense for them. They're almost wondering if they come in for forgiveness to have this fresh new start, brand new beginning, that you're not going to look in their direction, that you're going to look away from them. So there is an insecurity going on. But there's also this clarity, you know, all aces are yes cards, but it can also bring in clarity for sure. Um, like I said, I feel like they're recognizing now the true value 
of what this relationship meant to them, the value of you. You're the golden goose, Scorpio. You're the golden scorpion. I mean, you're coming in as the emperor or the empress energy, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus more specifically. I'm hearing this song, I think it's from, oh gosh, it's from the group Chicago. I hear part of the lyrics in my head. I think it's look away. Something like. When you see me walking by and the tears are in my eyes, look away. Baby, look away. I don't want you to see me this way. That's, it's just parts of those lyrics I'm hearing. Yeah, they're wondering if you're going to look away from them. Yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck, page of cups. Wanting to reach out. Wanting to come together and celebrate to reunite. Some of you guys will be going into union in the next three days or three months. That third party situation, bottom of the deck, queen of wands. Some of you guys are dealing with other water signs, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They're wondering if you are going to look away from them. Like, almost thinking like, they're the scum of the earth. And maybe, yeah, maybe some of you guys do feel that about this person, that they are the scum of the earth. I know how Scorpios roll. I am one, you guys. You know, it's... <laughs> I mean, some of you could be thinking like, that scumbag... A lot of you don't trust this person because you know their pattern. You know their pattern so well, Scorpio. <laughs> Some of you are like, I would never, never, ever, ever go back. And some of you are just so deeply in love with this person, but still even after all this time, still in a state of shock that they would choose this karmic person over you. And you know that this karmic person is really not that attractive. Come on now, let's get real. You know they are not that attractive. Or I'm hearing the word Superficial, mm, superficial, yeah, <laughs> they are. Feed me, hug me, hold me, burp me, mm-hmm, that's how the karmic is. And some of these karmics really look rough around the edges. Some of them... Yeah, just looking really rough. Yeah, this person doesn't know if you're going to look in their direction again, Scorpio. They're insecure about it because it's like, I think they're almost wondering if they're going to get the third degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will wait for a sign from you. This person's like waiting for a sign or a synchronicity or green light go from the universe as to when to reach out to you. Huh. 
Well, if you guys have a social circle of friends, mutual friends, I don't react when people mention you. <laughs> I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, they were they were kind of lowering their themselves because you're top notch. So even if they had to inflate their ego a bit or any form of shadiness, they were hiding their true colors. Meaning also to their vulnerability. They were hiding a lot of vulnerability. They couldn't. They love being in your presence. And then it's just like this insecure. Insecure behavior. You came closer than anyone. Yeah, Scorpio. You're better than that third party. You're better than the third parties, you guys. Come on now. Get your confidence up. You came closer than anyone. Yeah, because they're not going to get anybody better because all they're going to get is mediocre. And when they're out and about, they're looking for your energy. They're almost wondering like, hmm, could I run into Scorpio at the gas station, grocery store? Am I going to meet him at Walmart, Target, at the bar? What if I'm at to dinner with the karmic and I see Scorpio? What if Scorpio comes walking in? with another person, you know, just all of these ruminating thoughts, but they're worried you're going to look away from them or that what they have to say is not going to matter, but they want your forgiveness. I'm going to get one more message here. Why else do they want Scorpio's forgiveness? Because <laughs> they've been mentally stuck or trapped. It's almost like, it's kind of bizarre when I say this. It's almost like they want you to rescue them out of this stuck position with the, with the karmic. Yeah, they want you to rescue them and put, it's almost like, not necessarily put the karmic on the spot, but yeah, they're hoping... You rescue them. Is that you, Scorpio? Death card. Card number 13. Yeah, they're stuck. Told you. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, possibly another Scorpio. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming in. Because they want their ultimate happiness with you, Ten of Cups. They're going to have to step up to the plate and they're just going to have to make this decision to get rid of the karmic or the karmic get rid of them. Some of them need to learn their lesson. Some of them need to be dumped by this third party. That might humble them. It's so sad when I see in the cards that somebody feels besides themselves because they're with someone that they truly don't want to be with and they could have avoided. That's the part that kind of trips me up a bit. It's like they could have avoided this whole hoopla circus act with the lions and tigers and bears and the elephants from dealing with this karmic. I mean, it just, I shake my head, man. I just shake my head. But they do want, they want you back. They're just gonna have to get bold and brave. Mm -hmm. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.